officer, I'm delighted to take part in this debate and grateful for the opportunity to provide some balance uh, for the benefit of Conservative colleagues. And here, Douglas Ross muttering away. I could just say I welcome this motion in the same way as the Hibs fans in McDermott Park two weeks ago welcomed Douglas Ross, but I won't use the same language as was used by the Hibs fans. The motion talks about the governing party, but as the Tories never tired of saying, as Stuart McMillan said, but often tiresomely from the Tories, Scotland has two governments, and theirs is the governing party also. And yes, the Tories are transparent, presiding officer, so transparent that it's crystal clear to everyone that this motion is nothing more than an attempt to grab some headlines and to deflect from the failures of their own government at Westminster. So take, for example, last week, they didn't seem to think that debating the UK government's abhorrent anti-immigration bill was a good use of their time. So transparent was their discomfort, you could only see one or two of the backbenchers. The others were completely transparent. However, this week, they're here plenty for a debate about party political matters. So let's play their game and do a wee test of transparency here. I'm happy to give way to any Tory member who can and will tell the Chamber how many members they have in Scotland. Anyone? Anyone? Are you going to answer the question before I allow you to take the intervention? Are you going to? No, I, I'll not take the intervention. He's not going to answer the question. But let's play the game. I, so apparently, members, please resume. As members know, it is up to each individual member whether or not they take an intervention. Keith Brown. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't hear much of that exchange. I've obviously touched the raw nerve with the Conservatives. A simple question, really, but Douglas Ross has failed to answer it so many times. I'm struggling to hear myself speak, uh, presiding officer. Is it possible to get some quiet as they've been given when they made their speeches? Um, I think there has been kind of quite a, a lot of sedentary chit chat throughout the debate, and all speakers probably have had to put up with a bit of that. But I would invite members to please listen to Mr. Brown. Thank you. Uh, according to their chairman, Craig Hoy, who's here today, there is a number, but they don't disclose it. Demanding the SNP do something we've already done whilst refusing to do it themselves, that seems to be the Tory way. I would also be happy to give way to any Tory who can tell us, and let's make this as easy as possible, just to the nearest £1 billion, how much did the Trust Quartang economic experiment cost the people of Scotland? If he answers the question. Uh, I think he's giving way, Dr well, Ross. I'm grateful, because I want to go back to the last time he said he would give way to any member. Well, sorry, we can't have two... I, I, I'm, members, members, I think Mr Brown said that he would give way to Douglas Ross. Yes. Am I wrong in that, Mr Brown? Yeah. Well, I am not in charge. Mr Brown, please, Mr. Brown, please resume your members. I, as the Chair, am not in charge of answers given, as members know well. Could we please just clarify, is the member giving way to Mr Ross or not? No. No. Uh, I'm also happy to give way to any Tory... I'm also happy to give way to any Tory who could actually tell us... I can't hear what's been said here. To give it away to any Tory can tell us um, not, not just how many members they have, but whether they actually know how many members they have, because that seems to be a moot point as well. And how, how can we expect, uh, I can say, like Russell Finlay, I only have four minutes, most of which have been wasted already, so I'm not giving away. Members. How about when can we expect the publication of the, when we can expect the publication of the Russia report? No answer there. Uh, the motion talks of transparency in government. Can I say, I've said three times I'm not giving away, presiding officer. It's a Mr. Mr. Members, Mr. Ross, I think Mr. Brown has indicated he is not giving away. Thank you. So the motion, the, mo the motion talks of transparency in government, and we have no <coughs> transparency point whatsoever. Point of order, Jamie Halker Johnson. My apologies. Uh, I was just wondering if um, Keith Brown, uh, the SNP's deputy leader, might like to clarify whether his questions are rhetorical or they're actually genuinely yeah. looking for point of order. Yeah. Mr. Halker Johnson, that is a debating point and not a point of order for the oh, chair. My... Mr. So, Brown. As ever, not a point of order. It's also true we should really be down by now expecting the fact that the Scotland's other government, the Conservative government, will be releasing the polling evidence it collected at taxpayers' expense on support for Scottish independence. And how about an arithmetical question? How much is the HS2 costing compared to its original estimate of around £30 billion, now over £100 billion? Or what is the operational status? Can I, can I, I think, uh, Mr Ross, I think Mr Brown has indicated in the past he's not giving me. Mr Brown, and Mr Brown, I, I would say that your time is coming to uh, a close fairly soon. Mr Brown. 
How much is the uh, £3.5 billion aircraft carrier, the Prince of Wales, now worth since it's been stripped for parts for its sister ship? Mm -hmm. Or how much of the EU structural funds that used to come to Scotland and other parts of the UK have been cut from Scotland? So let's have no more pious lectures from the Tories on transparency. After all, in 2021, the current Prime Minister's tenure as Chancellor of Exchequer, it was revealed that the Treasury refused to comply with more freedom of information requests than any other department in Whitehall. Wow. We have also repeatedly on our side called for a full public inquiry into the revelation that the UK Government used funds for COVID contracts to conduct Mr. Brown, you will need to conclude. Thank you. Thank you, President Officer. Thank you, Mr. Brown.